let us solve another case studies in this regards of leverage from the following details indicates which of the following plans is more risky and which one is less risky it is asking us to indicate depending upon all such information which options we should consider as a less risky options and which options we should consider as a more risky options one by one production and sales it is mentioned over here thousand units selling price per unit is rupees 20 variable cost per unit is rupees 15 operating fixed cost situation a situation b probably there are two situations according to the classification of fixed cost situation a is 3000 rupees situation b which is 4000 rupees capital structure again in between that there are two specific capital structure is also available in first structure of 10,000 capital, 7,000 is own capital or equity capital and 3,000 is loan capital on which you have to pay an interest of 10%. In plan 2, 5,000 we can consider as our equity capital, another 5,000 we can consider as our 10% loan capital that means you have to pay 10% interest on such 5,000 rupees if we add out plan 2. First of all, we have to, before calculations of these questions, we have to recapitulate the concepts. Concepts of what? Here, it is asking us to calculate more risky and less risky positions, it is okay. Now, look at that, situation A and situation B, under situation they are again plan 1 and plan 2. That means, each situation must have two plans. Okay, for situation 1, that is plan 1, plan 2. For situation A, it is plan 1, plan 2. For situation B, it is again plan 1, plan 2. In such case, ultimately, we are getting 4 separate combinations. 4 separate combinations, depending upon the given information. Sometimes, students are having confusion. Either situation under plan or plan under situations. The basic thing is that the criteria should be based on fixed cost. The first classification should be fixed cost. Okay, if fixed cost is available in respect of plan, then it should be situation under plan. If fixed cost is available in case of situation, then it is plan under situation. Then fixed cost first you have to consider in this regards. As I said, four separate alternatives probably we are going to found in this case. But before that, let me chalk out the formula once again. DOL, the formula, probably we remember, the formula of DOL is contributions by EBIT. Then another one is there, DFL, financial levels. The formula is EBIT by EBT. All such components at first we have to portray from income statement. And whenever we are going to calculate income statement, since four separate combinations arise, we have to maintain a column on our form. Of course, what income statement we are going to portray here, it should consider that information. Don't forget, there are two situations. Situation A and situation B. In every situation, again there is two plans. Plan 1 and plan 2. Here again it is plan 1 and plan 2 should give the heading over here details calculation of DOL DFL and DCL combined limit portrait the income statement one by one first production and sales thousand units and after that it is mentioned selling price per unit is rupees 20 now thousand is your Selling unit and selling 
press parenthesis 20. Then 1000 into 20, if you multiply that, you are getting 20,000. Now the origin of income statement, as I said, sells. It is in simpler sense, output into selling price per unit. You can for better understanding, you can write such a manner also. It is 1000 into 20. You are getting over here 20,000 in each and every column. It will come rupees 20,000. Okay? Or rather, you can directly show here 20,000 into 10 also. Variable cost. From sales, we should deduct variable cost. Then, variable cost also, it is basically output multiplying by variable cost per unit. Output is 1000 and variable cost per unit is 15. 1000 into 15. Should be 15,000 in each and every columns. Now, once we deduct variable cost from sales, the difference we got that is known as contributions. Now, here in every column, we are getting the same amount of contributions and it is 5,000. That is the contributions. From contributions, what we are going to less according to the income statement, we are going to less our fixed cost. Then fixed cost. It's the main fixed in every cases. You have to be cautious in that case. Your operating fixed cost, it's mentioned over here. In situation A, it is 3000, whereas for situation B, it is 4000. For situation A, in either plan, you should consider it 3000, whereas for situation B, you have to consider it as 4000 rupees. Once we get fixed cost from contributions, we can manage to get EBIT. The full form of EBIT, as you know, I will be for interest and tax. The EBIT for the first column is 2000, second column is 2000, third column it is 1000, in fact, fourth column also it is 1000. From EBIT, what you are going to less? Right now, you will know. From earning before interest and tax, we are going to deduct what? Interest. Now again, you have to the causes over here. Under plan A, your loan capital is 3000 and as you know, interest is basically charged on loan capital. And what is the rate of interest? 10%. Then 3000 into 10%. Your interest amount comes to 300 rupees for plan A. Now, under plan 2, it is 500. Under situation B also it is 500. In case of plan 1, the interest rate is 3000 to 10%, 300 rupees. In case of plan 2, the interest rate is 5000 to 10%, 500 rupees. Now we are going to calculate earning before tax. 2000 minus 300, 1700 rupees. 2000 minus 500, 1500 rupees. 1000 minus 300, 700 rupees, 1000 minus 500, 500 rupees. To get DOL, DFL and DCL, till this is quite enough. We can go further, but depending upon this question, it doesn't have to go further. Regarding the classification of income statement. Now, you are going to calculate our answer one after one. First, we are going to calculate DOL. What is the formula of DOL? It is known right now to you people. It is basically contribution by EBIT. Okay. Now, in first case, contribution is 5000, EBIT is 2000. It should be 5000 by 2000 rupees. We are getting 2.5. For second option, 5000, 2000. Again, it is 5000 divided by 2000, 2.5. For third option, it is 5000 by 1000. It is 5000 divided by 1000, 5. For fourth option, again it is 5000 by 1000. 5000 is contribution and 1000 is EBIT. Okay, it is 5000 by 1000. Again it is 5. 
Then in case of operating leverage under situation A it is 2.5 under situation B it is 5 in respective of plan. Why? Why it remains same in respective of plan? As I said that operating leverage is mostly related to fixed expenses and fixed cost is related under situation A and situation B. That is why under situation A and situation B we are getting same amount under situation A 2.5, 2.5 under situation B 5 and 5 as our operating leverage. Next we are going to focus on financial leverage. The formula of financial leverage EBIT by EBT. Again we are going to calculate one by one. EBIT by EBT. EBT EBIT is 2000, EBT is 1700. Okay, the first one is 2000 divided by 1700. Again, here 2000 divided by 1500. In third case, 1000 divided by 700. In fourth case, it is 1000 divided by 500. Let me calculate right now the financial liberation where it will. 1.17 in second case 2.5 divided in second case 2000 divided by 1500 it will 1.33 in third case 1000 divided by 700 it is 1.42 and final one you are getting over here as 2 now finally DCL we can manage to get it is multiple form of DOL and TFL. Once you multiply one by one, we can manage to get that DCL or combined leverage. 2.5 into 1.1, 2.92. The first answer is 2.92. Second answer 2.5 multiplied by 1.33, 3.32, 3.32. Third answer 5 multiplied by 1.42. It is 5 multiplied by 1.42. We are getting 7.1 and the final one is 10. Now, according to that example, which one is most risky and which one is least risky, if it is asking us, it is clearly understandable that this is the least risky situation and this is the most risky situation then how to write indicate which of the following plan is more risky which one is less risky now situation A plan 1 is less risky situation B plan 2 is more risky situations let me plot the answer over here we can write here most risky how to give that answer most risky that is situation B plan 2 and least risky that is situation A plan 1. This is your ultimate answer. Let me give a brief first Whatever information available to us, we just try to portray the income statement. Till now, you can consider that this is not other than an income statement. What I portrayed over here, okay, sales, variable cost, sales minus variable cost contribution minus fixed cost CBIT or earning before interest on tax. From earning before interest on tax, we are going to deduct over here interest. Finally, we got the DPT. That way, first I portrayed. Depending upon the alternative options. How I select that alternative options? Whenever we are going to select that alternative option situation under plan or plan under situation, the first categorization process must be based on fixed cost. Now here fixed under fixed cost there are situation A, situation B. That is why the first category I consider over here situation A and situation B. Under situations you are getting the capital structure is put it over here plan 1 and plan 2. Under every situations I put it here plan 1 and plan 2. On such case, once we categorize such a manner, in that case, four alternative situation, plan, situation and plan will come. 
four alternative columns you have to draw you have to put it four alternative columns and you have to calculate the income statement considering all columns income statement in the sense of sales variable cost contribution fixed cost cdit interest and ebt everything once you have completed the income statement now as you know when you are going to compute the risk when, that means you have to calculate operating risk or financial risk all such particular components are needed because when you are going to calculate operating risk you need contributions in the it it is uh, this this things are available right now here column or form in every column we can manage to get the contributions and the it similarly to get that financial leverage also we can manage to get ebit and ebt these things are also available in correspondingly column or our form we just plot the figure according to the formula and the answer will automatically comes thank you